Good evening, I'm Lauren Wood. And I'm Dave Sess. In several weeks, there will be a change in leadership at Youngstown City Schools. It's a push the NAACP had been working toward, but now they're not sure if the grass will really be greener on the other side. After Dr. Connie Hathorn announced his resignation from the school district. First News reporter Matt Horn is in the studio tonight to explain. That's right, Lauren. Even though the NAACP says Hathorn hasn't really helped students in the district, he also says that more adults need to work together to turn around the public school system. As a way to spark conversation, the NAACP and Youngstown Teachers Union held a symposium to get ideas to turn the city school system around. Dramatic change needs to take place. For several years, Youngstown City Schools have placed near the bottom on test scores statewide. An academic distress commission was brought in and new faces have joined the Board of Education. Numbers haven't moved that much. Jim McWilson with the NAACP says even though Dr. Connie Hathorn is leaving the district, major changes are still unlikely. Not unless the adults who are supposed to do their job do their job. McWilson says a large part of it has to do with the Board of Education. The board is out of control. They are not on target. Um, they have no plan. Board member Jackie Adair was at Tuesday night's meeting. She agreed in saying the board is disjointed. We have a systemic problem. It wasn't, it's not just, it wasn't just him. It's systemic. It is the community. It is the school board. She went on to say the superintendent and his staff are just as responsible. Adair says things need to turn around to make a better future for students. We've not moved. Our children are, are dying on the vine, if you will. And, um, and I, I consider that to be a criminal act. Grandparent Cassell Burton was at Tuesday's meeting. She says there is still a lot of good in the school district. It's when the community come together and parents come together and you exchange ideas and then you connect. Uh, the kids is going to feel it. Dr. Hathorne was with the district for five years. Adair says that she hopes the new superintendent will be hired from outside of the district. In the studio, Matt Horn, 27 First News at 11.